Hi guys, welcome to this new video on Python and machine learning. So this is going to be a very interesting video in which I will be showing you how you can use fast APIs to deploy your ML models very quickly. APIs are what? APIs are end calls which you can hit through your HTTP routes and get request fulfilled in forms of JSON or any other data. The requests supported by fast APIs are all the standard calls which are available for other environments too like node.js or golang or any or even flask they are like the get request put request delete request etc etc so let's start by installing the fast api first so the first step to install fast api is that let us create a virtual environment in your system so i have already created a virtual environment if you don't have a virtual environment in your system you can follow this step just pip install virtual env then virtual env name of your virtual environment then source shabir bin activate to start your virtual environment post that you can install your uh, basic dependencies that is uh, pip install fast api that is the main library that will be using and along with that you will require uh, uvcon so pip install uvcon so this is how my folder structure looks so this is my main uh, fast api ml uh, folder which has two folders in it one is the api where all my code lies and this is the virtual environment which we just created so you can create your own virtual environment uh, with your configuration so if you want to see what is inside this virtual environment you will find bunch of files but you don't need to worry about it uh, but along with that you will see all your dependencies here so you see your uvcon was installed by us then other fast api dependencies all, all uh, will get automatically installed here so you don't need to worry about it virtual environment will take care of it so let's go to our main file folder so what kind of ml model that we are planning to deploy here so this is the ml model that i have already pre-written for you so this is a simple linear regression model numpy pickle pandas i think you should be aware about these libraries the basic dependencies as of now so we have the csv file here which has uh, uh, two columns here years of experience and salary so we just separate it into two variables x and y and uh, then we from the sk learn module we import train test plate we create four variables x train x test y train y test we pass train test plate uh, we call the train test plate we call the arguments and we get all the variables then here we create the linear regression model then the linear regression object stores the model in this variable called regressor then we fit the data onto it that is x train and y train and we have the regression model so let me just rerun this for you so this is how the regressor is going to look like so once the regressor has everything sorted so we need to also dump it with the help of pickle file so that that model can be used later so here we are using pickle as a dependency so i've already imported pickle here to check uh, if your model is working or not so we will be reloading it with the help of pickle load and then we'll be passing it some other number of years of experience let's say we have uh, 10 years of experience and we'll try to see how much is the uh, salary so we just pass 10 year and we see that okay based on 10 years of experience you can expect a salary of this much based on the data that you have let's deploy this model with the help of fast api so before going into fast api i will ha i have a file prepared here which will actually show you the different api routes that you can create with the help of fast api so let me dive into this main.py file so it might look a little overwhelming to you but be along you will get it very easily so from fast api we are importing the fast api along with that we have this two dependencies called pydentic uh, then we create the fast api object here and store it in this app variable uh, so here i have a basic uh, simple implementation of database uh, that is a store database which has movies in it uh, to make it simple i have already hard coded the database here so this dvd is a array of array of dictionaries which has uh, different ids name of movies and the price on which they are rented and also the quantity which you can buy it so here this is the database then we have a list here shows my order uh, then we uh, then we have a class declared here called as store it is just to set up the type of the dictionary uh, dictionary key values inside it 
so the id should always be int the name should always be string the price should always be float and quantity should be optional or it can also be none so from here we start the actual routing so you see here we have declared this app object now from the app object if you call the get method this is the basic route that is the home route we see one slash here and you have this uh, function for this home route that is def read root it will simply return a dictionary here called as uh, okay name this is the dvd store where can we get it so this is the main route so first of all uh, let's try to run this route here so the name of the file is this now once you are in the virtual environment what you can do is that you can call this uvcon then you type the name of your file that is main then inside it you need to run the app app right so here we have declared it as app so it should be app and then dash dash reload so just run this command so you will see bunch of uh, bunch of thing that is your server will be started locally so you can just copy this and in the browser you can just paste it so you can see here that okay your fast api is up and running and you can see also the response from your fast api okay the name is this 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 uh, view latest movies rent this 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 so so on so on so this is this proves that your fast api is running so now the question arises that what is so good about fast api that makes it different from other uh, tools so the good thing about fast api is that it so it provides us with the swagger ui so for that what you need to do is that after your local gets hit you just need to type docs and put enter so you see this is this is the ui screen that fast api provides us with it has this uh, very simple ui where you can directly test your api so so first of all here you see that we have four get get uh, calls get api routes one is a post route and one is a delete route so these are all the routes that we just declared in our uh, this main file so here you see we have this main route then we have an, one more get route which gets us all the uh, records in the store then we have all the routes to show the orders that we get then we have all the routes to get the dvd item details that we buy then we have a post route which will add item to your cart and finally we have a app.delete route which will delete item from your cart uh, so let's try to test the apis with the help of fast api directly so what you can do is that you can go in the swagger api and then you can click on this uh, arrow here and just click on the try it try it out so you can directly click on the execute button and you see that you get 200 here 200 spaces stands for that your api has ran without any issues and you see that you also get the response here very clear response my dvd store what can you do here latest movies whatever whatever so this was the same same response that we intended to give from our code right so here was the response yeah and it works like a charm so let's also test for other other routes that we have so besides the just the route we also get the curl command here if you directly want to hit this api with the help of curl so you can you can get your api response through curl too if you want uh, sorry if you want to get the request url this is the request url and this is the response body you can even download the response body here directly or uh, just copy it simply so let's also test for other api routes here so this is the second api route which has slash store here and uh, it uh, should be giving us all the stores that are there so since we called this route it executed successfully 200 then we also get the entire uh, entire response body here so this has all the database movies that we show that we had shown earlier so the uh, show my orders let's try this one so it shows that currently we have no order and so on uh, then let's try to add a movie with the help of this post response so let's try this out we want to add an item here so this is the this is the item that we can add here so let's try to add a string here i want uh, batman and i want quantity as one and price as 100 or whatever 
let's try to execute this route so okay so this route got executed we got 200 response here now if we want we can check our uh, uh, orders again which was earlier getting null so let's try to rerun this show my orders again execute so you see here now we have a order which was earlier shown as empty uh, now it has batman here this is the beauty of fast api you can simply create apis very quickly and also check for the response and uh, request everything about them in this swagger ui uh, and the last uh, example here is the delete route so if you want to just delete the order that you had just given so the id which we gave was i think zero so let's try to execute this so okay so the movie was deleted successfully now if you again check for the uh, again check for the orders so let's see if there are orders shown so execute you see again the response object become uh, null that means your order that was added to the cart is deleted so this is how fast api works now your question must be that how you can deploy your uh, machine learning application with the help of fast api very simple let's close this thing and let's go back to our code so here we have this ml file that i have prepared for you so what this file will do is that import it is just the model that we had earlier seen we are just putting it into a file here and we will be saving it in this salary.sev uh, pickle file so what we can do is that we can close this route here control c clear the terminal for you then uh, we can check for all the files here we have all the files here let me just call the python 3 ml dot pi so what this will do is that it it showed model created okay so here you see earlier we didn't had any model now we have this pickle file model generated that is salary dot sev so this is the route now we also have one more fast api uh, fast api uh, routing routing file so this has fast api dot uh, so these are some basic dependencies again an object is created this is the this is the home route that is slash then this shows that okay welcome to my deployed machine learning application whatever then we have this post since we want to get response from the machine learning model so obviously it is not going to be a get request it is going to be a post request which will be lying on this route that is home route slash regression so we have this slash regression here and inside this we have the function post and item which should be of type integer which takes the integer in gets it converted to an array reshapes it minus one minus one one then we have the salary file that we had earlier created we load it we, on the load we call the predict method we get the output in this output variable and then we flush out the output so let's save it all again and let's try to call the uvcon again but instead of main file now we will be calling this other file which is go which i have named as ml api uh, colon app so let's try to rerun this the, so okay now fast api is again running on this route on my local host so let's open the browser and uh, let's just paste this thing here so okay now your so now my fast api is running with the model so let me just open the swagger ui and this is how the swagger ui looks like let's test the basic home route so okay the home route is working fine now the main part comes where your where your api uh, where your fast api is consuming the ml model and try to get you the regression result where we have two two variables that is number of years of experience which is our dependent variable and the salary prediction which is our independent variable so let's click on this arrow here and click on try it out so it shows that it requires one input if you if you have description also it will show but here since it requires one input so let's try to put my years of experience as 20 and try to get a response out of it to see how much would be my salary so okay we got a proper response because we have 200 years so the output is shown as that this much so 213735 
would be my salary if I had 20 years of experience based on my ML model. You can again change it to make it something 50. Obviously, 50 is not a hypothetical number, but but uh, still we will be getting a response here. So this is how you can quickly check your ML models response, how they are performing with the help of fast API. Uh, with the help of fast API Swagger UI and it is very simple to use uh, and I am uh, really uh, amazed by the by the simplicity of fast API and I'll try more and more fast APIs in my upcoming videos too. So I hope that whatever I have shown in this video is clear to you. And if you still have any doubts regarding this video, feel free to write in the comment section below. Uh, I will also be posting all the files that we have here in my code uh, as a GitHub repository below. So do check it out. So till then, uh, if you like my work, please do hit the like, share and subscribe button.